Hi, you guys. It's time for another crystal prescription. Woo! Hootie fucking who. All right. <laughs> and for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah Martucci. I'm a psychic medium, certified crystal healer, paranormal investigator, all around fucking weirdo that's obsessed with Sasquatch and string cheese and just wants to help all of us, including myself, get our shit together. Stones fix my fucking life. All right. <laughs> so even if you guys don't believe in the metaphysical properties, let these stones be a physical reminder then of the things that we're trying to heal, let go of, uh, work towards whatever the fuck we need. With that being said, thank you so much to a voice for Amy for this question. She wanted a crystal prescription or she wanted to know about healing from great trauma and loss, maybe even something with forgiveness added in here. So here are my three crystal choices. Uh, this is not the end all be all. This is just my personal choice. I've also found that this is uh, something that you guys can probably afford. Most people can. So hopefully this helps. Okay. With that being said, my first one's going to be Numite. All right, we're going to spell that. You can look at it. Here's a picture of it. Uh, but Numite is, is an incredible stone. I've worked personally with the stone. I love it. It's got a lot of water energy. There's water energy attached to this. So I like the cleansing effect of this stone. Also, too, it's dark and uh, it's black in color. And it's got flashes of color throughout it. But that dark color also gives us protection and grounding while we're going through the grief process, while we're fucking healing. It also kind of helps us like with our own inner personal healing, our inner work to face that shit and to find self mastery here in order to face the grief to work through it and maybe use it in a way that will be helpful to us or maybe others fucking love this stone the second stone i would uh recommend it's i have a hard time pronouncing this i'm gonna try we're gonna spell it out you guys take a stab at it too do more to write do more to write well, you guys you'll see the picture you'll see the word good luck <laughs> all right pronouncing it either uh the reason why i like this stone and a lot of people don't talk about this with like great grief great loss great trauma in our life is pattern of addiction it helps us to highlight the pattern of addiction in our life so if we've had taken on an addiction or doing addictive things to deal with our grief process it helps highlight that so that we can take back control of our life it encourages patience and courage as we work through the grief process um and also it helps relieve fear and any codependency issues so that we can really lean into forgiveness not only for another person but for ourselves. and finally one of my favorite stones of all time I, I love this one amethyst it's an all healer you can literally use it for anything but it's one of the premier stones around grief and forgiveness literally one of the best ones and addictions again so if we find ourselves, um, you know, in rough patterns, trying to heal, trying to grieve, trying to let go, I feel like these three stones should be super duper helpful and protective, point us in the right direction. Now you can wear this anywhere on your body, keep them up in your titties or in a pocket, do whatever the fuck you got to do to protect.